Shalom YouTube, it's your boy Micaiah aka the Hawkeye Hebrew coming at you with another video and today we have the Paladin which is my my hybrid Templar sword and board build so not gonna waste no time we're gonna go ahead and get into it and let's go uh so you can see my my base my base stats um I'll buff up in a second, but we got 39 points into magic. We have 25 points into health. The food that I'm using is the Jewels of Misrule. And you can use the Orzorga Smoke Bear Hunch if you want. Um, that'll be the superior version of this food. I have the Atronach Mundus and I have Vampire Stage 3 for the extra defense with the undeath passive so uh back to the stats let's go ahead and buff up for y'all so we have 20,000 max magica we have 29,000 health we have our max stamina is coming in at 15k uh let's go ahead and buff up our recoveries So we have 2,400 mag recovery. We have 1,800 stamina recovery. Our spell damage is coming in at 6,000 uh, spell damage. So got some really nice spell damage. We have 30% crit, which is really nice. Um, I, while we're talking about crit, let me go ahead and show you the crit damage so we have a 70 percent crit damage 50 percent base and then 20 percent extra um our base pin is 7500 and then power to light applies the sundered status effect which gives you minor breach so that's giving us an extra 3k bringing us to 10k total our resistances is coming in at 29 and 27 on the back bar and then on the front bar we have 31,000 and 28,000 our crit resistance is 2k and I don't know my character is a high elf and I feel like you could do Breton or you could do other options as far as you can even do dark elf but I like high elf because you get a little bit of um, mag and stam back depending on your lowest resource every six seconds. And then while channeling or casting an ability, you take 5% less damage. So while we're using jabs or radiant oppression, we got a little passive damage mitigation there. Then you get the 2k max magicka and an extra 258 weapon and spell damage. So that's really nice um and then also keep in mind one of my skills is we i have channeled focus so um this is giving us an extra 484 mag recovery every two seconds so you got the base 2400 mag recovery that i showed you we got an extra hit and 484 on top of that that's not being seen in the stat sheet. And then you already saw my engine guardian monster helm, which is giving me even more mag when that procs the mag, um, mag return. So since you already know one of the sets, let's go ahead and get into that. Um, got mark and ring of majesty on the jewelry. And I have that infused with weapon spell damage. Our first five piece set is New Moon Acolyte, and I have that with um, both infused with damage. And the thing with New Moon Acolyte, I know a lot of people don't like it, is it gives you almost 500 weapon and spell damage, but it comes with a 5% cost increase. For me, I play on Vampire Stage 4 a lot, so. 
the cost increase don't bother me especially when i have the kind of sustain that i have on this build like some people would even argue that i have overkill on sustain but i'm a vampire stage three and then i have new moon acolyte which is another five percent and even with all that increased co um increased cost i still never run out of magicka like my sustain is through the roof i got 6k weapon spell damage and when you probably factor in all of my recoveries i'm probably dang near at 3k mag recovery like it, it's absolutely crazy and i have a resto staff on the back bar so if i were ever to run out of mag recovery which is never i can just resto heavy and get all my mag back anyway so the new moon acolyte does not hurt my sustain at all but if for whatever reason you wanted to run something different i would say the substitute here is shattered fate so that's my first five piece set um and then my back bar set is wretched vitality let me go just go back up to the weapons and then i'll come back down so i got the new moon acolyte sharpened mace uh with the flame damage enchant and i have an npn shield we got the back bar wretched vitality uh resto and that's powered you can make that defending if you like and then like i said we have the engine guardian which is one of the best defensive sets in the game and also one of the best sustained sets in the game so if this thing triggers mag recovery bro you're not running out of mag at all you can spam the living crap out of jabs you can spam breath of life or honor the dead i mean and your sustain is is really infinite on the mag side it's the stam side you got to worry about if and only time i really have sustain issues on the stam side is when i roll dodge too much but that's more of a play style preference than anything so um yeah if you don't want to run engine guardian uh you can swap this to Balor, get even more pin get even more damage and then i got the one piece trainee um for a little bit of extra health so as far as weights we got heavy uh helmet heavy chest heavy legs and then everything else is light so three heavy four light and um i would say reinforce on the chest and legs everything else in pen and that's the that's the gear the skills i'm using is puncturing sweeps i took this because I, at first i was using the stam version but i was running into stam sustain uh so i swapped this over to mag and i've been fine ever since plus this gives me a little bit of healing while i'm sp uh spamming it so that kind of plays into our survivability power of the light this is the superior version of of these two morphs this is way better than the mag version in my opinion it's giving you the sundered status effect which gives you an extra 100 weapon and spell damage and then it applies minor breach so this skill is really nice i got reflective light this is giving us a flame dot which does more damage to vampires and it's giving us our uh, major savagery and major prophecy buff for 22 seconds so that's really nice as well and then in some of the gameplay i was using pierce armor but um i definitely prefer having this on instead using invasion as my stun this is this uh the shield charge and if you use it at max range it stuns up to 50 percent longer so you'll have somebody sitting on the ground for almost five six seconds sometimes it's, it's pretty crazy and i'm aware templar has two of the best stuns in the game so if you wanted to swap over to javelin or or focus charge i would probably me personally if i was to not use the shield charge i would go to toppling charge and um this morph always stuns and then you get major protection for four seconds after using it so that would be my recommendation on that and then we got radiant oppression and then the ulti i decided to go with is dawn breaker of smiting and we use I, I i use this because it does more damage to vampires and werewolves and then it gives you an extra three percent weapon and spell damage while being slotted 
back bar we got degeneration this is giving us another dot and it's giving us um our major brutality sorcery buff for 24 seconds channel focus this is giving us an extra 484 mag recovery is giving us a heal whether we stand in it or outside of it and um is giving us our our armor so honor the dead this is our burst heal we got resolving vigor is our heal over time and then race against time is giving us major expedition our minor force buff and is removing snares and then temporal guard is just there for the pass of minor protection and those are the skills as far as champion points in the blue tree i'm using focus mending master at arms uh biting aura i took that for jabs and dawn breaker but if you don't want to use that you can switch over to wrathful strikes and then my last in the blue tree is ironclad so as far as the red tree we are using bastion for more damage against shields we have sustained by suffering uh, fortified and boundless vitality and this is another thing that's not showing up in the stat sheet so like I said we got we have well over like 3k mag recovery and once again somebody may consider that overkill but when I'm fighting outnumbered I can spam jabs I can spam onto the dead and I never run out of mag ever so I really love it. And then in the green tree, rationer, liquid efficiency, war mount, and gifted rider. So yeah, those are the stats. That's the sets and the skills. If you got any questions, you can always ask me in the comments section. Um, and I hope y'all enjoy the extra little gameplay I got at the end. And I will catch you all in the next video. Peace.
Fuck up.